uh, it's a protest. I don't want to call it a standoff with police, but protests are spreading after an officer today shot and killed an African-American man who police say was armed. Again, they shot and killed an African-American man who police say was armed. The officer in the shooting video, also black. Again, these are live pictures coming in to us from Charlotte, North Carolina, our affiliate WSOC. It's a little bit dark, but you can see officers in a line there uh, with a bus behind them, and you see the protesters in front. There is a large presence of police officers, and there are a number of people who are out on the scene here. So police say they were searching for a suspect with an outstanding warrant when another man, the victim, got out of a vehicle with a firearm they say posing an imminent deadly threat. They then shot the unidentified man. Detectives say they recovered the firearm that the victim was holding at the scene. An officer has reportedly, an officer has reportedly been injured in the protest tonight. Again, so a man pronounced dead at the hospital. Police there went to serve a warrant. Uh, someone else they had an altercation with in a car. Uh, they deemed him as threatening. He was carrying a weapon, according to police. They shot him, and again, he ended up dead. And you're looking at the pictures now of protests. Uh, and it's, I know it's dark to see. It's hard to see because it's dark there, but those are protesters on the scene and police officers there all lined up uh, and police officers trying to gain some control. We're going to continue to monitor that situation, but I want to bring in, as we look at these pictures, Bakari Sellis. He's a former member of the South Carolina House of Representatives. He joins us by phone. Uh, Bakari, we're watching these tense images, the situation here on the streets. What do you know about this? Well, I think that, um, you know, we're urging everybody to stay as calm as possible, um, but people are tired. Um, you know, we just saw the images of, of Terrence Crutcher in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Um, and now you have this incident and, you know, the family members and neighbors say that this disabled in individual who was uh, shot and killed tonight uh, or this afternoon, he was actually carrying a book. Um, and so we'll have to see um, what the incident really was and we'll have to see what the facts are. But again, you have um, another incident um, that, that, you know, it resulted in an African-American male um, who was killed. And so people are really anxious, people are worried, people are scared, 